85 years, Chatelaine Magazine has been highlighting extraordinary fashion, style, and food, all geared towards the Canadian woman. And this month, the magazine is celebrating their more than eight decades with a special anniversary issue and a collaboration with CityLine, including unprecedented prizing. Jane Francisco is the magazine's editor-in-chief. She joins us from Toronto. Good morning and happy anniversary. Good morning. Thank you very much. Uh, let's talk about uh, the special issue first of all. What can we expect? Well, this issue, it's a special double issue. We have eight covers. So there's a cover on the front and the back. There are four different versions of this. Everything that you find inside is the same. Um, but you, we, we've done different cakes f on each one. So one appealing to different tastes. There's chocolate cakes. This is a cherry vanilla cake. There's an ombre cake, which is layers of pink. Anyway, so when you're at the newsstand, you can choose the one you like the best. And then on the backs, we show off some different vintage covers. This particular one's from 1948. Glamorous sort of Lauren Bacall looking model. I, I love. And then I mean, throughout I'm the issue, we've got um, any number of then and nows. So we've kind of gone through the decades and found some really fun and exciting stories. And we've brought some updates and sort of revivals. You know what? I had no idea. I mean, I, we got Chatelaine in my house when I was a kid. I had no idea Chatelaine had been around um, for so long. What, what would have been contained in the first ever issue uh, from March of 1928? Well, um, on the cover, you'll see sort of a picture of domestic bliss. <laughs> There's a woman with two children, one on her lap, one on the floor, and they're playing quietly and calmly. And she's wearing a gorgeous floral to the floor dress. Her hair is done perfectly. She's got lovely earrings. And the magazine really was a celebration of domesticity. So women at the time were, their life was really focused around the home, both work and hobby, fulfillment, family, etc. So that was really what the magazine was about. And then over the decades, it continues to be a reflection of women's lives in the now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's always kept up with the times. And I have to tell you, Jane, some of my favorite go-to recipes are from Chatelaine. And uh, you have a new one I need to, uh, to keep in my sort of treasure trove, right? Yep, so the Chatelaine kitchen is really the jewel in the crown of Chatelaine, really. And um, one of the things for this issue that the kitchen did was they went through many of the recipes through time. And, and we really got to see how food has changed and how we entertain differently and so on. So the updates are fresher, usually easier, easier versions, and a bit more gourmet. So some of the ones that we look back at were really fancy, <laughs> and we've sort of updated them by making them a bit more casual. And then, of course, you know, there was the 70s where there was a lot of canned and, and um, sort of packaged foods as part of the recipes, and we've made them a bit fresher. So this one, I think, is a uh, shrimp and watermelon tostado. And, you know, the, the fresh Mexican food is so hot right now, and this is super easy. And, um, and fresh, tasty update on a shrimp cocktail, classic sh shrimp cocktail. Uh, Jane, I cannot wait to pick it up. I want to also let viewers know that there is a big Chatelaine special on City Line uh, tomorrow. Ten viewers across Canada will get what the audience gets, but they have to watch the show to win. So we'll encourage people to yep. tune in to that. And thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Jane.